to be honest with you. There's no way I'll ever know that Ferdinand likes me the way you think. Because I just feel the man likes me because of the way I do my job. I'm not a prophetess. So there's no way I will know that Ferdinand likes me. So this thing that happened today is not, is not a clear indication that that man likes you. Yeah. For goodness sake, he left those high-class babes with good shit. He has to be with you. Eh? I mean, he could just be using it to pass out time. I might just be the available person he wants to use to catch crews. You know, this man. You better grab this opportunity before it passes you by. Eh? From what I am seeing, this man might become the president of this country someday. And you, the first lady. <laughs> See, I will not allow you to show from you. I won't. Chamaka, why not claim it? Claim it instead now. Who dash monkey banana? Me. Hey, let me just tell you. I am only praying to be promoted from cleaner to the best friend to the first lady. <laughs> you see? You see why I said you ah, oh, Chamaka. Your village people are following you. Believe me. Yes. Because if Ferdinand is single, I mean if he's not seen those girls, then why can't you just use the same power you're using for me to get him? Why? You are the one befitting for this position. Not me. Yes. You are the one he likes. Not me. So, go for it. And stop getting me angry. I told you, the village people will follow you forever. You're a fool. A big fool. If you like heal, if you like don't heal, I am not interested. Where is your boss? She will soon be out. I see. Well, I give her something. For all of you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You have been doing well. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I like your work. Huh? Thank you, sir. It's fine. You can go. Thank you, sir. All right. Aha, uh -huh. here she is. Finally, you're here. I thought you have gone out. I know, I have not. I'm actually taking the day off to rest. Yesterday was quite um, busy for me. But I say you're here because you have been running away from me. Oh yes, something has been keeping you away. Whatever it is, I am sure that um, <laughs> it is something of interest. Mm. Uh? Oh my goodness. Oh my <laughs> I know where your mind is going to, but I'm pretend I don't know. What, where do you think my mind is going? Like, uh, what, what? Get your mind out of the gutter now. You're, because you're mischievous. You know what you've been up to. You've been doing something. You understand what I'm saying? Right, sit down, sit down, sit down. I want to hear it. Where have you been? What has been going on with you? Don't uh -huh. laugh at me when I tell you. Hey, I went on a date. You did? But I regretted it. Why? Can you imagine? This guy has been wanting to go on a date with me for the past few months. Okay. So what happened? Then I decided to pity him and I went. Only for him to be a big disappointment and a waste of transport. Oh, come on, now take it easy. Now what does this young man do? <laughs> that you would qualify him like that. Come on. Oh. Okay, what happened? Let, let me hear. What's... What happened? This guy bragged from the minute I arrived until I left. He could not even allow me to eat my food in peace, just pouring saliva in my food. <laughs> the worst part of it is that. I'm listening. <laughs> Chiamaka. Chiamaka has suffered in this life. Okay, what happened? When it was time mm -hmm. to pay, mm -hmm. he started searching his pockets. What? He started searching his pockets. <laughs> in my mind, I was like, ah, maybe he forgot his wallet in the car. Mm -hmm. Because he bragged about owing a car. Ah, really? Okay. Then he said, babe, ah, I cannot find my wallet. Oh. Then I was like, ah, maybe you left it in the car. Go and get it. He said, oh, yes, you are right. Maybe I left it in the car. Okay. Then I said, 
Quickly go and get it now. Yes. We are keeping the waiter waiting. Mm -hmm. Then and then, I got the biggest shock of my life. Okay, what happened? What? Mm -hmm. That fool told me that his car was at the mechanic. That's me. Chiamaka mm. should pay the bill twenty six thousand naira. That is a ticking change for him. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get this right. First and foremost, twenty six thousand. What were you guys? What what were you people eating? <laughs> <laughs> but wait, he's what? Well, hold on. What? So why did he now step out if he did not bring the car? And then I agreed with you that his wallet could have been. I'm lost. Because he already bragged about owning a car. <laughs> Chiamaka has suffered in this life. Where do you find this kind of mm. man? Okay. <laughs> oh. Can you imagine? He ordered bellies. He ordered chicken. He ordered water. Eh? All of them, he wants to please Chiamaka. Please. Bust out this car before I choke you. Release it, please. <laughs> Release the last Biko. It was really well, let's say he was hoping that you'd take care of it. <laughs> Me? Me that's looking for money. <laughs> the beautiful one, how are you? Huh? Please don't even patronize me. Not after humiliating me at your place yesterday. Oh. I, I don't get it. What did I do? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Look, I was having an important meeting, okay? Besides, your visitation to my place yesterday wasn't scheduled. I know it wasn't. But at least you would have accorded me a little respect by coming out to tell me yourself that you were busy. But no, you didn't. And you still haven't called me up until now. Is it fair? It's not. That's because I figured that I'll be here today to speak with your brother. That way we'll get a chance to, you know, talk one on one. The excuse isn't enough. It's not. For crying out loud, I came to your place. You did not call me. You didn't even care. I call you these days, you don't even take my calls. In fact, if I decide not to call you, we will become history. It's busy times for me. I need you to understand, okay? But I'll work something out so I can make it up to you. But I also need you to understand that I'm doing everything possible for you to know how I feel. I mean, why are you doing this to me? Is it because you know I love you? That's that's not the point. Like I said, I need you to understand that these are busy times for me. And I might not be as available as you hope for me to be. Please understand. Listen to me. I was the one the governor wanted to make as the chairman of this committee. I declined because of reasons best known to me. So if that man is now using that office to which haunt my people, then I have to call His Excellency and cancel his appointment. Uh, uh, one minute. One minute, excuse me. I, I'll talk to you later. Yes. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Ferdinand. The great son of uh, even the mayor of Sili. <laughs> sir. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. Ah, uh, that's everything, sir. How else? I think uh, living in the village is one of the best decisions that I have ever taken in my life. So you're saying that we should start working towards retirement? <laughs> Fernand, you're doing that already. With the way you are visiting, I mean, your good works all over the community. The massive love the youths and everyone is having on you. I mean, deciding to retire home at your, your, your retirement, I think it's a good choice you'll be making. <laughs> I wish I would have a strong connection with someone the way you two do. I thought you were stepping out already. Yes, I was until I realized that uh, Mr. Ferdinand is here. So I decided not to in case he needs me for anything. Well, that is fine. But the truth is that uh, Ferdinand and I are having something very important to discuss. If he needs you, I know that he's definitely going to call your attention. Are you indirectly sending me away? Oh, no, not at all. Um, I definitely would um, 
let you know once once I'm done with Chief. <laughs> it's alright. I'll be here. I'm doing very well, Princess. How are you? Ah, you'd have to pardon me, please. I, I was in a meeting. I, I couldn't step out. But I'm going to make it up to you, okay? No, there'll be no stories uh, this time. Uh, you know what? How about you come to my place tomorrow? Tomorrow then. I'll be home all, all day. But I'll prefer that you come from what, 3 p.m. would be perfect. Right. See you tomorrow. Why are you doing this to me? I give you love, care. I do virtually everything just to make you happy. What have I ever done to you? What? What is all this? Is it because she's a princess? What are you talking about? I'm talking about your affair with the princess of this land. Why are you doing this to me? I mean, why are you hurting me like this? You are even begging her to come visit you. This is extremely insensitive. Oh no, come on, come on. Ijama, that was unnecessary. You don't have to employ such strong language. Why? I just had a conversation with her because of what happened yesterday. She also came to the house to see me. She couldn't access me. So I told her to stop by my place so we can just talk about that. This is me being civil. You're hurting me. You're really hurting me. You're breaking my heart. This is not fair. Have you ever been civil towards me? Have you? Honestly, I'm, I'm really, really confused. Where is this coming from? From the deepest part of my soul. It's coming from there. That one. I taught him how to swim. <laughs> look at, look at, all these people we used to, you see one grand old titanic fish. Now, nah. keep watching, keep watching. I wonder what you're still doing here. You know it yourself that boss will be angry when he comes now. you're not there to open the gate for him. Look at, look at, look at that shark. Look at that shark. If you eat this fish, you will not only be fat, but you will be smarter. <laughs> I don't worry about our guy, I can always tell her anything. Hey, look at it. This girl, this, that girl, she will fall now. She's my neighbor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at it. Eh, Ebube. Without a company in the house. Ebube and Ebube and Ebube. Who gave... Go ahead and I'm sorry. Who gave you that name? Why are you answering Ebube and You can't even understand the ordinary ingredients that is in the midst of discussion. Is that an insult? No, it's not an insult. It's just that uh, I am bothered about this organ. How do you mean? So, see all those useless girls that I've been fighting with our organ? Maybe they, 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 they will go away one day and then during their crossfire, organ might be killed. Ibube, I'm thinking that we two should boldly walk to organ and tell him to, to, to marry one of them. He should settle down this month so that this rubbish that is happening will stop. Okay. When he returns, come and open the discussion with him. Ebube, how, how, can you, how can you believe that I'm in a better position to do that? Ebube, you are the one that prepares his food. You prepare his meals and sometimes you'll be watching him as he eats. I want you to take advantage of that as he's taking the meal down his stomach. You take the discussion down his ear. You know what, Mr. Gotoliba? Just go back to the gates and allow the boss live his life. 
and make decisions on him on, on, on his marriage when when he feels like. You will tell me. Are you not bothered? I'm bothered about you. Because if you discuss this with boss, he will fire you. Every time you will not be on the same frequency. How can I be seeing something that you are not seeing? <laughs> See, that's Morgan. I taught her how to how to jump. You see this one that is swimming, I taught him how to swim. Hey, look at him. No, no, you're becoming for irritating now. Go to the gate. Sometimes you leave gates, you come inside, you flex, you enjoy. And who are you flexing with? With you, of course. Please. Please sit down. Honestly, thank you so much for honoring my invitation, my dear friend. Your presence is really appreciated here. And um, I really needed an intelligent mind around me. You're most welcome. So what do you want this time around? My dear, it's about Ferdinand. I don't know exactly what to do. I've tried everything. But it's as if I'm losing the battle. He doesn't... He doesn't care about me anymore. I call him, he doesn't take my calls. And even if he does, he will always find a way to tell me that he's very busy, as if I'm disturbing him. I don't know what else to do. The problem is, she won't like the truth if I spill it. You think I don't know the truth? Listen, my dear. If I tell you that I don't know the truth of everything happening around me, then I'm a very big liar. I know virtually everything. It's just that it's always very difficult to admit it. Because the truth is always bitter and it hurts. And don't you think it's only the truth that can set you free? Yes. When you admit the truth, it will help you to achieve a positive result. If you keep living a lie, that wouldn't help. Instead, it even hurts you the more. I know. I know it makes things worse. And that is why I have sent for you. Because I have admitted the truth, my dear. Please tell me. What do I do? What's the way forward? Okay, fine. I will explain things to you in details. Make sure you do as I say. Okay. So tell me, how did it go? What did he say? Any hope? Well, he invited me over to his house and said he will be around all day. You know what that means? Mm. It means both of you will have so much time to do whatever you want to do. <laughs> so much time to spend together and have fun. Mm. I don't understand something here. He told you he would be in his house all through the day. Did he in any way tell you that you are going to spend the whole day with him? What is it that you don't understand? If someone tells you that he will be in his house all through the day, what does it mean if it's not for her to come so that they can be together? Dear goodness, I was not talking to you. So you better be careful the way you talk to me. Babes, he said I should come around by 3 p.m. Maybe he thought I would have all the time to myself, but guess what? I am spending the entire day with him. You know what that means? I when I spend the time with him, I know. there is no way that something will not happen. Hi. Well, no, as I called in this world, in my opinion, you better keep to the appointments. Well, your opinion is not needed. I mean, what is your problem? You always feel as if you're wiser than everyone, whereas you're not. <laughs> yes. Be careful the way you talk to me, Feshuku. I am just warning you. Be careful. As if you would do anything. Babes, look, enough, please. You girls don't need to quarrel over this, all right? I'm, a, I'm an adult. I can make decisions for myself. Case closed. Exactly.
Okay, I have to go now. Eh? I just want to make sure you go home safely. Thank you. Thank you, you very home. much. Um, I had a really nice time hanging out with you. <laughs> You're so fun to be with. I did. I don't feel like going, but you don't have to get back to show. And I had so much fun with you, too. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes, you're more fun than I thought. <laughs> you want me like this, so... <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I go, I go turn on you. My phone off now, Sha, but once I get back to the shop, I will charge it. I will go here. Yeah. Okay. Careful. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I don't feel like. <laughs> okay, be careful. I don't understand. You don't understand? What are you doing with that village pharmacist? Is it that you don't like good things? Babes, I mean they sweat for you. What exactly? Chawaka, please, when you want to talk, let me know. Babes, you know I love you so much. That is why I am telling you this. That guy is not good for you. You already have someone that loves you so much. He is not just wealthy and influential. He is a good man. Why can't you say no to that distraction? And face the man God has sent to you. If I understand you correctly, you're saying that I should leave Emoka. That is a distraction and that there's a better man for me out there. Exactly. Mr. Ferdinand Ibeneme is a better man for you. Do you want to live the rest of your life like this? Eh? Chemaka, have I ever told you that Mr. Ferdinand has ever asked me out? Or complimented my beauty? Or told me that he wanted anything? Are you making sense at all? Babes, I know he has not asked you out. But from the way he treats you, Aren't you thinking? That guy loves you. He loves you so much. So because someone is treating me right, I should buy a ring and put it on my finger and say, yes, I am married to someone. Come on. Babes, that's not what I said. You know what I, I mean? It's okay. It's okay. It's enough. You're really making out to just... Babes, better think of... Better think. Ah. What's the meaning of this? Must you be annoying all the time? You've kept me here for too long. Why not call him and confirm if he actually asked me to come? Madam, you're distracting me. Allow me to confirm if you have an appointment with my boss today. Hold on. You're the one keeping yourself. I must make sure you pay for this. If you don't pay for this, then I'm not the princess of this land. Madam, I've told you that you are distracting me. The earlier you keep quiet, the better for you. Hold on, let me confirm if you're there. Hold on. You are distracting me from get, getting the accurate concentration of confirming names and time. Hold on. Princess, uh, princess Grace of Osili, your name is here. But your appointment is scheduled from 3 p.m. Why are you here? This is becoming very irritating and disgusting. What kind of rubbish question is this? Ma'am, your appointment time is 3 p.m. And 3 p.m. is your appointment time. You are not supposed to be here anytime before 3 p.m. So what I advise you to do is to go home and return once it's 3 p.m. I should go home and... Are you stupid? Is it because I'm keeping quiet for you? Listen, I'm only trying to be very civil. Don't piss me off. Why are you trying to make a fool of me? Hold on, madam. You are not being civil. Listen, your appointment time is 3 p.m. And you are here before the time. This is 12 noon. Well, from 12 noon to 
3 p.m. is not far. If we can get into discussion, interaction, heart to heart interaction, before you know it, 3 p.m. appears. You will go in. If you are in, I am ready. My princess, <laughs> let me start with uh, how old are you, my princess? You're not serious. Get out. Hey, hey, not again. Not again, my princess. It's like you have the monopoly of invading into people's privacy. Get out. How would you like it? Get out. Go. Hey, oh, of invading into people's privacy. Oh, hey, hey. Hey. Princess. Hey. A better man. Hey. I will not stand up from here. You want so bad, maybe the same thing at the test. Yeah. Everybody have the 